Right, folks, I am back, and this is Chris. How long have we known each other, mate? 30 years, my friend. 30 years. We worked at a place called Fresh Pack Eggs, didn't we? Yes, we did. Uh, and what did you order? Just eggs, sandwich fillings. That's all it was. And that's all it was. That's yeah. all it could be. It was rubbish. It was unloading eggs from Holland, weren't it? Yeah. And balling crates of eggs. And I dropped a few. Yeah. On purpose sometimes, because he had a right strop. Uh, Mr. Pancholi, Pancaj, Pancholi. He was well. He was funny, weren't he? Yeah. He used to go, "Oh, you fucking bastard!" <laughs> and he used to go absolutely mad if we hadn't unloaded a trailer within half hour, which was impossible, weren't it? And it was an Arctic. Yeah, we're an Arctic, weren't it? Yeah. So, uh, so well done. Uh, we met. I met Chris the other month. Then I loved, bro. We were. What were you walking through, love? And I was. We were chatting about this YouTubing, and I says, "We'll get you on." But because of this virus that's going around it hasn't happened but now i've said oh sod it anyway yeah and we said let's go for it so as you can see we're social distancing the lens makes us look closer together than what we actually are but i have asked dominic cummins to come around but he unfortunately can't make it so there you go <laughs> have i introduced that all right Perfect. I think so. Perfect. I think so. Right, me and Chris, we are going to review these Texas BBQ sauce Pringles. I wanted the pulled pork, but I can't find them. Right. We've got some new pulled pork ones out, but I can't find them. I've been to Sainsbury's at uh, off Melton Road in Leicester. I've been to Tesco's in Loughborough, and then I ran out of time. So I found these. I've not reviewed these, mate. So what we're going to do is we're going to tuck in. Do you want to go first? And give um, us your expert opinion. Let me try one. You can try more than can one. I, um, can you just pass my drink, please? <laughs> I'm just talking to my glamorous assistant, Bob. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> <at> Victoria. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get you on the camera a bit more, dude. Mm -hmm. I know, I know you like a camera, don't you? You see the guns on this. When we used to work together, right? When we used to work together, we I sat in the canteen <laughs> once, and, and Chris, he must have bought. We used to eat like 10 jars of baby food. Yeah, it was baby food. Yeah, and I used to say, Chris, what, what are you, how old? And I think you're about 21 at the time. And I said, yeah. what are you eating baby food for? And it was like, you don't feed a baby shit, do you? And I always yeah, remember I that. Happy. Yeah. So this ain't just like made up. This is, this is years and years of practice of these guns and stuff. Right, I've tasted one and it's not bad. <laughs> it, honestly, they're not bad at all. That's it's got a little bit of a kick, but they are slightly dry. Well, Pringles are dry in a way because I'm surprised somebody hasn't done a challenge. You know how like you eat, is it five cream crackers? Mm. That's a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. That could be a challenge to heat a, eat a whole pack, uh, tin of these. They are all right, isn't they? Yeah. Can I have a read of the thing? Or we're not allowed to touch out, do we, together? Um, I can read from the top. I haven't got my glasses. Okay, no, and I ain't got mine at all. <laughs> They're in the little compartment to my van. <laughs> but take it from me, are they worth getting? <sighs> yes, but um, they are a little bit dry. Yeah. Yeah, they're not They're not as good as the salt and vinegar ones, I must admit. No. Because the salt and vinegar ones give you like a, a refreshing tingle, where these just are very dry, aren't they? Mm. Too much. I'll have one more. Eat them all, mate. Laughing. Would you like to try one, Victoria? Go on. Go on then. Let's have a female opinion. Yeah. I do like Pringles. I'm a sour cream kind of girl though. Oh yeah. Do you dip as well? Hey. <laughs> and I stack a few Bloody at a time. Show you this. <laughs> I stack five at a time. Do you? Yeah. Have you tried the stackers as well? The stacks? Well, I reviewed four packets the other day and I gave them all to the lads at work. They were awful. Mm. They've got the triangle packet. I've not tried them. No, I won't bother. You're not missing anything. They're not uh, that good. So what do you think then? Mmm, they're okay. <laughs> the flavour's not that strong. They remind me of a prawn cocktail. Yeah, yeah. they are. They... Like Walker's prawn cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Chris is right. They are They are dry. They haven't got the best of flavours. Um, I think they're just jumping on the bandwagon and trying to make as much money as they can, mate. Yeah. Is mm. it party? Food. I, I, I'd have them. How much would you pay? 
Because well, I know you're, you know, you know, you're not tight with him, but you're careful with him. You're like yeah. me now. After my debt uh, issues, I'm okay. So I am careful with money, and I know you are. You always were careful with money, weren't you? I like to use the word conservative. Um, but yeah, I don't know that's a good. I don't know whether that's a good <laughs> word to use because I've got quite a lot of left wingers <laughs> who watch me. <laughs> oh, I better not do a dialogue about Margaret Thatcher then. Um, All the right. dislikes are coming in now. <laughs> How much would I pay for those? Well, saying that Morrison's, am I allowed to say this? Yeah, of course you say what you want. Um, Morrison's prices have gone up, and I think they're taking advantage. I think most supermarkets are taking advantage of this COVID nineteen um, situation by upping the prices. Definitely. So I'm going to say they would cost one pound eighty five. One pound they were today, but I did. Right. I have seen them for two pound fifty. Yeah. So they, they promotional ones? Um, I think they were, yeah. They got everything. They got the fusion ones as well, the rice ones. Yeah. They were a pound. Um, but I went into Cost Cutters in Sour the other day, and these were £2.50, which is not really cutting the cost of £2.50, is it? Would you pay £2.50? No, I wouldn't pay £2.50. Oh. <laughs> to do a review, yes, I would, because that's what I do. Yeah. But if I thought, oh, me and June fancy some Pringles tonight with a gin, uh, then no, I would not. No. Yeah, I don't, the, the, there's no way these kind of things are worth £2.50. In fact, if you are a company and you think these are £2.50, you're robbing bastards. That's, you know, I can understand the cost of this, that and everything, but £2.50, you ain't going to sell any. If you have them at £1.50, you'll sell a damn sight more and people might come back. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. Yeah. Not just that, people are traditionalists and you yes. always go for the ready salted or what, what do you like? Sour cream. Sour cream. Um, and I think this is a bit of a, trying to do it like a party. Yeah. But the, 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 well, I'll tell you what they are probably doing then. They're probably thinking, because this lockdown is easing, mm. people are going around to people's houses and I bet these companies are thinking, yeah, let's make yeah. the money. Yeah. As if we've not already made it. I mean, let's face it, the only places that have actually made money are shops, Amazon, eBay, and eBay haven't made that much because you're not even allowed to go around and pick it up. Yeah, it's true. It is true. So, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, I swallowed the wrong way. Have you got a shout out, did you say? Oh yeah, uh, a shout out to two people, Mr. Joe Kendrick and this lovely woman <laughs> called Victoria Broadbent. <laughs> and that really is her surname. <laughs> Well, like, are you any relation to Jim? <laughs> I'd love to be related to Jim Brown, a, a fine actor he is. So yes, to Joe Kendrick and Victoria Brother, and definitely to my beautiful son, Jackson Adiemi Plumter, because he'll be so embarrassed when he sees Hey, that would be a great name on a football shirt, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, fucking how much would that make him? <laughs> I want 20% of that, mate. <laughs> Straight to me, no new room left for the numbers. J-A-P, they'll call him. Jap. <laughs> Oh, that right. Sound right. No, it doesn't. It does it? That sounds yeah. wrong. Forget that. Forget that. We we'll just we we'll just go for Jackson Addy. Do you think like the Blue Van Man BVM? That sounds quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. Because when I thought of this name, I never really thought that BVM would sound good, but it does sound good. It's a great acronym. Yeah. Because I've got that BVM on my merchandise. That is goes in the back collar, so people can't um, people can't uh, copy it. All oh, right. I've got my own logo. Really? Yeah, thanks to Elliot. So oh, yeah. you have to think about these things. I don't. Elliot does. Hmm. So who is Elliot? It's me, like agent. You got an agent? Yeah, Elliot looks after everything. Bloody hell! Yeah. You're doing well. Well, not really. Cause he's, not, he's not really earned <laughs> anything out of me yet. He just, he just seems to be doing a lot of work for nothing. <laughs> Do you remember James Whale? What, the DJ? Yeah, the, the TV presenter. Yeah. And he started off similar, not because he didn't have the technology, but remember that little show he did late yeah. at night? On a Friday night, yeah. he used to come home on pissed as a fart. Yeah. And and Tardew got, got chucked off, didn't Yeah, and, and ITV, because in them days, people would ring in and they'd swear and they didn't yeah. have the... The beeper, or yeah. it wasn't on a five, ten second delay, was it? No, no. And, and you could end up like that. Oh, you never know. You never know. You'd have to come on though. I'll definitely come on. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to do more of these. Now Now me and Plummy are into this kind of thing. He's in for it. We're up. Uh, yeah. But you don't really oh, work, do you? So. You know what? Everyone says that. You told me you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're going to do, we'll finish this one here. 
Uh, we'll finish this one here because I've just got it in on the 10 minute mark. Um, You've been talking 10 minutes already? Yeah. Wow. It used to seem like a lot of <laughs> you anyway. <laughs> and it was all about you, you, you. Uh, yeah. So, right. <laughs> Texas BBQ sauce Pringles, yay or a nay, mate? Oh, that's a good one. Hang on. For um, one pound. Yay. Two pound fifty. Nay. There you go. That's what you want. This gives you the value for money kind of thing. Yeah. So, right. Uh, well, good. I've got a few more to do with Chris. So, uh, I'm going to drip them out kind of thing. I'll do this, then something else, and Chris will come along again later. All right, folks. Laters.